Welcome back everyone to Sleeping Dogs. Uh, continuing on from where we last off, last stuff, last left off even. Sorry, got my words mixed up then. Yeah, we're in our new apartment. Got new clothes, new cars, and another triad mission. Get out of the way. So yeah, let's uh, pick up one of our cars and go see what we uh, got to do. You have a car in here? Yes, I do. Try and buy one soon. See what this mission is, and then we'll uh, have a look. Damn it! <laughs> Those steps. That we're gonna go do something to do with that wedding that Winston mentioned. Well away from my Winston's places. for the long drive. Didn't realise it. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. <laughs> she really wants those chickens. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. Eight months. Nearly a year, Jesus Christ. What is it to do? So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <clears throat> no, my life it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, right? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then that sounds sexual. <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful, but, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought Oops. she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, 
I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing. My car! My car! Sorry. Smashed it up a bit. Not enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That too? This is a flower shop. Fancy. Here we are. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to sit through all the. Uh, I'm just gonna change the flower bit. We'll done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing: black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone. I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes. But they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> A black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei, come on. We can go now. Let me guess, she wants us to steal from a temple of all places? Alright, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Hey! Some don't die at all. Is that a band from the wedding cake company? Hang on! What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down! <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast! <laughs> Look out! <sighs> He's not pulling over. You're a gangster, do something! Get out there and get him! Surely this can catch up to a goddamn cake, man. Oh my god! Driving around in slow vans. Tell 
Tell Winston I got the Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that one. Told ya. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles. And sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up. You're a good-looking man. Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back. Energy flows among flowers. We are all everywhere. Uh, I am here, not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother, so true, so true. <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. You don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Well, I've got a jade statue. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. The last guy said. It's a pretty nice place in the middle of a city. You stop right now. Oh shit. Ow. It's the first time that's ever happened. Ow, again. Alright, better counter. Oh. Monks were so good at fighting, eh?
Oh, not again. more of them come at me. Hey, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope, I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. That conversation got cut off. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's going to be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. Easy peasy. to steal cars and then put them back in the garage. Name. Alright, let's go do this police case.
fences there. Drafting. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm doing it anyway. Twenty grand as well. Yeah. All right, let's go do the wedding. Find a clothes shop and get some better clothes on. Let's get some threads going. Is there one on the way? Yeah, there is. Alright, we'll do a clothes shop on the way. It's an easy. This car's a bit bashed up. Okay? Ow! Just as I say that, I crash again. are dangerous. Close shop is on the other side of the sally. This doesn't really look like the place where you get something fancy, does it? I need a uh, IO face. Please return when you're ready to shop. What the hell's that guy doing? That isn't a bus stop, mate. Thank you for the opening of the door. Hi, Roller. There we go. 
Now we look like the part. This will probably put me in a suit now or something. Oh yeah, see there we go. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Sorry about that. See you again soon. Bye bye. Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. You'll start without me. I think what I was wearing originally looks better. I think that's just me. So happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul. Welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother and <laughs> Oh, and this is true. I expect the food to be... Wait, wait. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm going to make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You got to enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen. A lot of wine. Shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Jack, you there? Holy shit, did you see that? There's Fuck's no going way in. We're getting in through here. I'll find a way inside. I I'll go get help. Some shit going down. Big old man, you are hurting a woman. Hurting a woman. around here. Blood all over me. 
That's why I got a white suit, is because I can see all the blood. Cleaver to the face. Machine gun for me. Call the rest of the boys. I need them here now. Uncle Paul. your own medicine assholes. Syndrome. to Winston. Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Uncle Paul, you're hurt. It's nothing but a little scratch. <laughs> Look, sort of. We gotta get you to a hospital. Must pay a 
wedding is a sacred thing. Now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you going to take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you police? personally responsible. Oh, thank God. I'll be clear. Okay, okay. Well, that was fucked up. Now Raymond wants to meet up. Gonna again. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, Ray. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife, he fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wayne. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to him. Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Raymond really does never understand, does he? <laughs> Surely having Wayne where he is now is the best thing you could ever have. <sighs> anyway... Anything oh, wait. We're back in our shit all over apartment. Anyway, I think this episode has been long enough, so yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.